Hi once again, good to be back. <coughs> Just looking out the window today at uh, the lovely English weather and it's uh, raining pretty pretty hard out there which is uh, both a good and a bad thing um, but it's just made me want to bring you a very quick short blog on uh, water filtration or water health. Um, something we don't think about a lot is because we're quite lucky in a developed world that we have uh, uh, water, relatively clean water sent to us, to our homes, to our taps, um, that we don't suffer with a lot of the uh, disease conditions that uh, are prevalent in some of the third world countries and in poverty stricken countries. Um, however, there is something in, with regard to health that a lot of people aren't quite aware of, and that is that our water supply, as much as it's safe uh, from the perspective of we're not going to get uh, evidently ill from it, um, there are lots of impurities that are carried in water which will, when you're thinking more holistically, lead to possible internal health issues that can be cumulative, um, that will also stress your body, and if you've seen the Fundamentals of Stress blog I did, um, or read anything um, by Paul Check or people who, who uh, specifically specialise on stress, you'll know that having clean food and clean water is essential. Um, we don't want the pesticides, we don't want a lot of the chemicals, um, but when it comes to water, there's actually a bit of a bigger picture. Um, what a lot of people who have studied uh, clean water have, have started to realise is that our water supply, although isn't directly going to make us unwell it carries a lot of runoff from farms um, medications that people have peed out into the water supply that can't be removed in the mains filtration system um, so there's concerns about um, for instance uh, to my knowledge, uh, peeing out of HRT uh, medications, which puts hormones into the system, estrogens in particular, and then there's now debates and arguments about whether that's possibly affecting the population as a whole and the ability for the population to conceive, um, causing fertility issues. And that's just a little bit. Um, so what I'd like you to think about uh, in terms of improving your health as a whole is to seriously consider a uh, mains filtration system in your, in your house. Um, I personally have a reverse osmosis filter, which I had fitted about just over a year and a half ago. Prior to that, I would have high quality bottled water. Um, normally those that are, are known to come from, from actual springs. So uh, I would have Evian or Vitel. Um, there are other ones out there and you can do your research on that. Um, they're quite high quality mineral waters. Problem with that, if you're not having it glass bottled, then you may get some estrogens seeping from the plastic in which the water comes in. But at, my, at that time, my decision was to go for that over tap water. I would cook with tap water, but still uh, I would drink uh, the higher quality mineral water. Having had my reverse osmosis filter fitted, um, I now can cook with that water, I drink that water, and actually over the space of a year, year and a half, it's probably paid for itself. Um, off the top of my head, it was £400 for installation, and that's a five-stage reverse osmosis filter. I also paid an extra £60 to have remineralisation cartridges, and the reason for that is because um, I'll start here by just explaining. I've done a little bit of uh, looking around online for the general information, because you're always going to get people arguing twos and uh, fours and against. So for instance, uh, most literature will tell you that reverse osmosis filters remove fluoride, whereas you'll have some people arguing that it doesn't remove fluoride, but the general consensus is it does. So um, having gone around a number of different um, water-based uh, uh, sites and also companies, and also general water filtration companies, uh, this is more sort of the average You'll find, like for instance, uh, a reverse osmosis filter will remove more than 99% of bacteria that you might get in your water. And that's what people don't realise is, although it's clean and filtered, there is still bacteria in there, there still can be viruses in there, uh, there can be uh, things that can cause IBS type symptoms and, and diarrhoea and so on. So, as I say, over 99% of that, <coughs> chlorine, 95 to 98%, depending on the quality of the filtration system. Um, You've got chromate, copper, um, cryptosporidium cysts, um, cyanide, it says here fluoride 95 to 98%, uh, lead, manganese, magnesium, mercury, and obviously we know that mercury isn't great for, um, for the system, 
Um, and and the, it goes on and on and on. You've got sediment, which is what I was talking about from runoff, silicate, silver, sodium, strontium, um, so on, so on, so on. Now, some people will argue and say, well, but you know, some of these things are good, like zinc, uh, manganese, and magnesium. And yes, we do need these things for health, but they should be coming in your diet. And if you're eating a healthy diet, rich, good organic foods, cooking your, th- your food from scratch, um, good quality meats, although obviously some people choose not to have that. I, I think good high quality meats uh, are good as well. You're going to get that in your diet. So removing it from your water supply isn't such a big deal. However, like myself, when I did my research on it, <clears throat> it did say uh, that I found that if you completely uh, filter the water, i.e. distill it completely, you then might run the issue of um, there was links to the spontaneous cracking of teeth um, because then you're putting such clean water in your mouth regularly, it can take the minerals from your teeth, leading to possible issues with teeth. So I chose to pay to have the remineralization cartridge. So I have magnesium and calcium put back into my water after it's been filtered. Um, and uh, what normally happens is the, the water company that I had that fitted by come and service mine every six months and they'll change the cartridges and membranes just to make sure that it remains high quality because what some people do is they forget that these membranes degrade and they could go for three years without getting it serviced and for two of those three years they've been drinking unfiltered water so I, I, I personally think you would notice that because there is a definite better taste and, and cleanliness to the water when you drink it and there are other filters out there you can look at um, uh, uh, kitchen top ones um, I know there's some good ones um, that are 5 to 12 litres and I'm trying to remember the name off the top of my head and I can't EVA, I think it's EVA water filtration system which actually filters through volcanic rock so it filters it and then you get the remineralization from volcanic rock um, so that's something to think about um, but yes uh, just a quick one to say really really think about your water it's up there with the fundamentals of health with your food with your sleep with your exercise and with your stress management so i urge you to consider uh, that expenditure i know it's quite a lot for to 450 is is a lot to to uh, pay out but if it's going to keep you healthier if it's going to give you better quality water if you're not going to have to buy mineral water which is uh, quite pricey anyway then i highly recommend it um I hope that uh, is of interest and I hope that you look into it for yourself. There are other water systems out there and there are, you know, your Brita filters and that will do some filtering. But I, I suggest something much higher quality as you can see the, the full list of, of things that um, the reverse osmosis filter can, can help minimise that you get into your system. And if you don't take it for myself, go online and, uh, and just type in uh, what a reverse osmosis filter removes and you'll see a lot of those lists for yourself if you just look around so thanks for um, uh, popping by and having a, a look once again um, uh, as I say spread the word back to primal.com new websites up you can follow me on facebook facebook.com forward slash back to primal and uh, I'm also on youtube so come along and subscribe on youtube and I'll be bringing more of these nice short sharp blogs uh, so as to allow you to have a little look in your break or just when you get at the end of the day or even on the train. So look after yourself, have a great afternoon, take care.